Presidential Minister Marcin Przydacz believes that the Ukrainian political class is taking an increasingly responsible approach to the issue of the Volhynia genocide. The support shown to Ukraine by Poland after the 24th of February 2022 has opened a new chapter in Polish-Ukrainian relations. In the first months, we saw regular Ukrainians going to clean Polish cemeteries. On the other hand, President Zelensky was at the Orlon Cemetery, along with President Duda, so certain gestures were made. Chairman of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine Ruslan Stefanchuk, speaking about the genocide in Volhynia, expressed his condolences to the families and the ancestors of the victims. To all the families and descendants of the victims of the events of that time in Volhynia, I express my sincere sympathy and gratitude for maintaining the enlightened memory of their ancestors. Ruslan Stefanchuk also addressed the issue of exhuming the victims of the crime. Together we will search for and restore memorial sites. Together we will bring back from oblivion those who rest in nameless graves both in Ukraine and Poland. This is an important declaration, as it indicates that Ukraine wants an explanation and dignified commemoration of the victims of the Volhynia massacre, points out the senior speaker of the parliament, Antoni Macierewicz. This is hopefully a statement of position and an announcement of action, because this was genocide and there must be consequences towards the organization and towards those who are guilty of giving such orders. A thorough explanation, investigation, commemoration of the victims will close a difficult page in Polish-Ukrainian relations. Without this, reconciliation between the two nations is impossible, even though more than 80 years have passed since the crime. They have been an element poisoning mutual relations, and their approach to this matter will absolutely have to be dealt with. I think we can perceive this declaration as a clear signal that there is political and moral readiness on the Ukrainian side to take up these issues. In the face of Russian aggression against Ukraine, both war on Kiev recognized the need to arrange relations on historical issues. Building divisions between Ukrainians and Poles only works to the advantage of the Russian Federation. What happened is here to stay, so it seems to me that we need to apologize for it and look to the future. The topic of genocide has recently returned to public debate in connection with the 80th anniversary of the so-called Bloody Sunday, which falls on July 11th. Between July 11th and July 12th, 1943, the Ukrainian insurgent army launched a coordinated attack on Polish residents of 150 villages in Volhynia. Both nations should learn a lesson. No ideology is more important than human life. Not only should the perpetrators be judged, judged of course only in absentia, morally, but also the ideology they followed. On July 22, 2016, the Polish same established July 11th as the National Day of Remembrance for the victims of genocide perpetrated by Ukrainian nationalists on the citizens of the Second Republic of Poland.